हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल थिंक विद ब्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ईवीएस दैट इज एनवायरमेंटल एजुकेशन द महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड ऑफ सेकेंडरी एंड हायर सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन पुणे दैट इज एच एस सी हैव डन सर्टेन चेंजेस इन द पैटर्न एंड द सिलेबस ऑफ ई वी एस दिस ईयर लेट एस डिस्कस इट इन दिस वीडियो दिस ईयर Environmental education is changed to environmental education and water security. Water security, or you can call it as jal suraksha, is added to the syllabus this year. Let's see the paper pattern and the writing pattern. That is same for both eleven as well as twelve. So let us look this in details further. Next, environmental education is a compulsory or mandatory subject for all the streams. That is arts, commerce, and science. There are separate books for eleventh and twelfth, which are friendlier and practically applicable to the students. The subject are educationally, environmentally related, activity based. next there is no theory paper for environmental education either for 11th or 12th environmental education carry a weightage of 50 marks there will be project which is of 30 marks whereas journal or seminar topic that is of 20 marks so now we are going to discuss the syllabus so let check it it consists of five chapters first is human and environment which has sub topics in it that is population growth rural and urban settlements indigenous communities and traditions environment and health right to live human rights and value education in our further coming video we are going to talk about all the sub topics and the chapters in details the second chapter is about environmental pollution the pollution are given in sub topics which are as follows air pollution climate change soil pollution noise pollution and solid waste management next the third chapter which we are going to see in environmental education and water security is sustainable development in this the sub topics are need for sustainable development sustainable development goals challenges for sustainable development sustainable agriculture and the last one is role of individual communities and government in sustainable development next is practice for environmental protection it consists of sub topics that is as follows consumer education eco labeling environment impact assessment green audit eco tourism and the last one is international conventions and agreements the fifth and the last chapter in environmental education and water security is water security which consists of sub topics which are all related to water that is jal suraksha the first one is water resources second is need and importance of water resources third is water scarcity fourth is water contamination and the last one is water conservation and management methods now next the pattern of evs in this we are going to see that evs includes project seminar and journal assignment there is a option between seminar and journal assignment project is compulsory topic project carry 30 marks in which 20 marks are internal whereas 10 marks are external now the 20 marks are further divided first selection of project it carries two marks which can be written on two sides that is one page 
इट शुड हैव टॉपिक्स सब टॉपिक्स सच एस इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द टॉपिक रीजन ऑफ द सेलेक्शन मीन्स वाई यू आर सेलेक्टिंग द पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक करेंट स्टेटस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक विच यू हैव चूजन द न्यू अपडेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ दैट टॉपिक नेक्स्ट इज इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट द टॉपिक विच यू हैव चूजन वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू मार्क्स एंड इट शुड बी रिटर्न ऑन वन पेज वन साइड थर्ड इज एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव विच कैरी टू मार्क्स and it should be written in one side it should have aims and goals objective should always be start from two it should be action based and question tag type means you should have to ask a question now fourth is methodology methodology consist of four marks it carries four marks it should be written in two pages that is four sides it should consist method used in data collection it includes survey questionnaire interview experiment or site visit it can be any methods now fifth one is observation which again also carries four marks it should be written on two pages that is four sides it consists of numerical data in form of observation table brief point if no numerical point is there okay next the sixth one is analysis which carry again four marks and it should be written on two pages it must contain evaluate observation based on statistical data or in the form of histogram graphs or pie charts now seventh one is the result or conclusion which carries two marks and should be written on one page it should include the project outcome means what are the outcomes of the project what you are concluding in the project now next is seminar or journal it carries 20 marks in which 10 marks is with the internal examiner and 10 marks is with the external examiner it should carry five topics one question from each chapter we should include concept application understanding and completion now important notes we should which you should keep in mind while you are writing the project as well as when you are appearing for evs above explain same pattern is for fyjc as well as syjc that is for all the streams that is science commerce and arts second is there is no theory exam for evs now next is compulsory submission of your evs book means you have to compulsory submit your evs project book if you are not going to submit your evs project book the student will be declared failed by the college or the teacher no outturn for evs no outturn will be allowed to give for evs subject plastic covers are strictly not allowed for the evs book project report is not required for project section initially the student used to write a project report for the project section now that project report is not required if failed in evs the student is going to be declared failed overall so it is a compulsory subject class improvement students have to make a new evs book if a student is giving a class improvements so he or she have to make a new evs book next no topic of project should be repeated for student in each division means for example if there are 30 students in a particular division there should be 30 different topics now how you are going to frame so many topics so you can use topics sub topics types ways to frame your topics different different topics project is compulsory for everyone which carries 30 marks whereas there is a option between in journal and assignment that is seminar assignment which i have told you earlier also okay next is viva or oral assessment 
will be taken on both project as well as journal or the seminar topic thank you hope you like this video and it will be helpful to you don't forget to subscribe like this channel for further videos thank you